everyone, I'm Becky. And I'm Sarah. And we're doing Bickering Book Reviews. Today we are talking about These Witches Don't Burn by Isabel Sterling, which I got off of Edelweiss. Same. Um, so this book is about Hannah. Hannah is an elemental witch. She can control the four elements, but her powers are something that she needs to be kept secret. However, when Hannah... However, when a dark force threatens Hannah's life and those she loves, she must use her powers to save herself and her family and friends. Hannah will do whatever it takes to keep everyone safe, even if she has to team up with her ex-girlfriend, Veronica, while, the, while she tries to build a new relationship with the new girl in town, Morgan. So I had like a mixed reaction to this book. I liked the premise. I liked the idea of like the blood witches and I liked the idea of the elemental witches and I liked the background. But it drove It felt very 80s teen movie. I can see that. But it drove me crazy because they keep talking about this incident that happened like like six months earlier. And they just keep referring to it and refer it's it's almost like it's a sequel. It totally is. And I think that's really where you would have developed the relationship between Veronica and um the main character and I think that's by developing those characterizations you get into a better point with them and you connect with them better which you can't do because all of the backstory that you need isn't there yeah like I really really wanted to like this book and I tried and I'm kind of like there were like moments that I liked it there were moments that I liked Hannah there were moments I liked Morgan Hannah's best friend Gemma I liked but I was first of all I would have liked it if it was a second book. You needed yeah, it, to develop it was, it the felt, backstories because it just didn't work without them. It just doesn't feel it doesn't feel complete. And like I feel like the mystery was kind of obvious where it was going and I I wasn't surprised by anything. And like I mean, it's an okay fantasy book, but I don't I don't know if I see myself giving it to kids because I think that the readers in my community are going to be like, well, where's the first book? Yep. I mean, yeah, I really don't have much beyond that to say because I no. agree. I think that it's hard to connect with a story when you're missing the first book. Right, and that's – and if it had just been something that they talked about, like – and that's the other thing that drove me crazy. So, like, they mentioned it at the beginning of the book – and then, like, three chapters later, they mention it again. And then, like, three chapters later, they mention it again. But they don't actually explain what happens until, like, 80% of the way through the book. And even that wasn't explained that well. No, it would have been. I mean, and the way that they constructed it, though, it would have been its own book. It would have started off with their relationship, Veronica, you know, pulling the main character out of the closet, I'm assuming. That's kind of Just kind was, of the, yeah. ba the way that they've set it up. And then it would have ended in this... Battle Royale with the Blood Witches. Right. And then now, now you come a couple months later where all of the fall. this is what happens after all of the fallout. See, it almost feels like we missed the pilot of the TV show. Mm -hmm. And we're watching the episode like once the story starts, but they didn't give us all the setup. I don't have anything else to say. Like I said, I wanted to like it more than I did. I think that the LGBTQ queer themes were... Q... I just said it twice. Anyway, I think that those were really well done. And those were well done. They worked. They were interwoven really well. It didn't. It wasn't like. It wasn't. I don't even know where I'm going with this. It was like just part of the story. It just it just fit well with part of the story. And I think that the relationship between Hannah and Veronica, like the romantic side, was well done because like they're in this. They have this conflict. Like they've broken up. And she's trying to, like, move on, and she has this relationship with Morgan, and, but she's still kind of, like, trapped with Veronica, and I thought that was very well done. So I guess, like, the personality parts were done, the relationship parts I liked, the actual, like, witchy parts I liked, but the narrative arc, I was just like, you never grabbed me because you never gave me something to be grabbed by. That's fair. That's fair. Um, we should rate it. So okay. our rating system starts at the top with five unicorns, we go down to two unicorns. If we don't like it, it's a horse. I'm at three unicorns. I'm at three, too. Like I said, if the, I honestly probably would have been at a four if there was another book, but they lost me. Yeah, because I think that the even like the Lady Ariana or whatever, the grandmother, like I think she just came off as like not fun zone, and I think they could have developed a, diff, a different side of her, more respectful side of her. I feel like yeah, in the first book. There was just there were so many. 
it's almost like there were just so many loose ends at the beginning, and you should have loose ends at the end. Right. Well, that is where we are on these witches don't burn. See you around. Bye. Bye.